everybody and welcome back to another great edition of my guru room show and for the guru room show today we got a very great guest he's a young actor and he's one of the actors that is in the new horror film called the black phone and the black phone is a, for those of you who don't know it the black phone is a horror movie starring ethan hawk and all the young the, the young young people that are in this movie do an amazing amazing job and I'm, I'm sure Ethan Hawke is definitely proud of of all all the young people that are in the film because if you go see this film you see what I'm I'm talking about they all do an amazing job and I'm looking forward to talking to one of the actors he is one of the actors that kicks butt in the movie and his name is me 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 Yigel. Kizarez Mora. And if I said your name wrong, I apologize. I'll have you say it when you come on. And I am Rocco Cross. I am the host that stutters. I am the host of the guru. And my interview with Miguel will be coming up very soon. This is my guru room and welcome to my nightmare. Stay tuned. Okay, um, welcome to Guru and thanks so much for taking time out of your night and coming on the show, buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So, so like the first thing I wanted to start out asking you is, is what, what drew you to want to act? What drew me to want to act was I was just really inspired by other young actors, you know, seeing them in a film or a TV show was just like, wow, that looks like a cool job. So I want to give that a shot. And it was just an industry that's always had my attention. So I just, went for it I decided to to start doing it and yeah, here I am sweet sweet nice yeah. and I saw like the black phone is actually your very first film and yeah. um like how 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 does it feel that your your first film is such a big hit you right um so it's just something I'm definitely really proud of and happy, you know, really grateful for that, for that feeling and that opportunity I had. I, I've never like even done a short film or, or a commercial or something like it's just for my first film ever was a, a movie this big, you know, so it's definitely a, a wonderful feeling. And yeah. Um, sure. Like, like, I, like, <laughs> you know, you're in this, like, this this horror film now and it, it's definitely getting a lot of great re re yeah. uh, reviews and and it's making a lot of money so, yeah. so it's definitely and, a hit <laughs> yeah there's some competition in the theater as well and the movie's still doing pretty good it is so yeah it's just a really wonderful feeling to know you're a part of a film this this big and with all these wonderful actors as well Oh, definitely. And, and, you know, with uh, Thor, Thor, Thor coming out now, like, mm -hmm. it, and the movie's still doing well going up against Thor. So that's saying something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thor, the minions, Top Gun, Elvis. Yeah, yeah that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just got a lot of competition, but I mean, it's cool. I'm going to go see Thor later on today. <laughs> nice. But, yeah. Nice. So how did you wind up getting getting the role of Rob, Robin for the Black Phone? So I got the role just by auditioning for it. I got an audition from, from my agents. And I, I remember doing it in October. The process for the audition was kind of long. I auditioned for the role. And then like two weeks later, I got a call back. Nice. And then for a little while, I didn't hear back. And then they called me again. And... Uh, well, every time I got the call back, it was something new. So like, okay, maybe this time try it with your voice a little deeper. This time uh, for my fighting scene, I remember I threw like a couple of punches and kicks in the audition. And it was from October. I got the audition in October. And then in December, I remember they called me again. And this time was a Zoom meeting with Scott Derrickson, the director. Yeah. And I thought I was going to have to do the audition in front of him. But it was it was just a Zoom meeting and he was just asking me questions like, 
just to get to know me, you know, like oh, how did you start God. acting? How long have you been doing it for? And well, I we were just on the Zoom meeting and the next day in the morning, I remember getting a call from my agent asking me like, hey, how would you like to be a part of this movie? And I was just, wow, I was just so happy to to receive that from my agents. And it was just, it was just great. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> definitely <laughs> for for anyone who hasn't seen seen the film yet can you tell us a little bit about what the black phone is and who robin is okay so for anyone who hasn't seen the film you guys should go watch it um <laughs> but black phone is it's honestly a really good movie because of the story it has it's not just it's not just a horror film it has some it as you're watching the movie you go through these different emotions mm -hmm. with finn as well there's some jump scares there's some really sad emotional scenes yeah. there's one with robin and finn and um there's some action scenes some fighting scenes it's a pretty cool it's not just horror you know well yeah exactly yeah so i think that's that's what makes the black phone such a good movie all everything about it is just great and robin is Robin is a cool character because he's not just, he's a really tough kid, yeah. but he also has like a really good heart to him. He has a good, he has a good side and he's, he's, he, uh, he's Finn's best friend. Mm -hmm. So you see Robin acting like a tough guy and fighting this other guy. And then when he's with Finn, he's really, he's really open, you know? So I think I think that's a really cool thing about Robin and just the the film itself. It's you go through all these different emotions watching it. It's just great. Oh yeah, I I, I seen it. So I I I know all the emotions you mm -hmm. get from watching this from the start of the film to the end. Like you're never not feeling something. Yeah. And and. <clears throat> and I I read on on online that after you were done filming that scott actually called you back to film that emotional ending scene yeah. with, with you and with you and um finn the actor to place huh. <laughs> yeah uh so i was really happy when i received those that that from production saying that they wanted me back because that scene where it's the phone call scene with finn is it was just supposed to be like an ADR session, I guess. Mm -hmm. It was only my voice that was going to be in that scene. But then I remember Scott Derrickson telling me like, hey, honestly, I think that the audience is going to want to see Robin again. Yeah. So that's why I, I appeared in, in the back just talking to, to Finn. So that was great. I thought that was super kind of Scott to put me in, give me more screen time. Oh, yeah, exactly. And for someone who's seen, who, who's seen the movie, like that ending scene with with you and mason is is really good it's really yeah. real it's really sad and it's really yeah good. one of the emotional scenes yeah but, mm -hmm. definitely and what scene did you like best from the black phone like it could either be a scene that you're in or a scene that you're not in oh it's a difficult question i like <laughs> <laughs> um i gotta say that every scene i filmed was really special in its own way i enjoyed every single scene so i don't think i have a favorite i okay. enjoyed all of them and honestly all the other scenes with all the other boys and even maddie which is gwen gwen's character is hilarious so i thought I was so funny and with the other shadow boys who also get kidnapped as well their scenes are pretty freaking cool some of them are really scary some of them are just like just really exciting you know but i thought i thought all the scenes were great i thought all my scenes with with all the other boys and and mason who plays finn were were yeah. cool they were all special in their own way nice i know that like there's there's quite a few jump scares in yeah. the movie and it's not even like really scary but it's something you're not yeah. expecting uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> it's just the jump scares that really got to you. I remember yeah. doing when I did the a private I did a private screening to go watch it with a bunch of friends and family. 
And well, I had already watched the movie and I was watching the film and I was like, okay, this is the part where one of the jump scares come in. So I turned around to see like all of, to see how the audience, yeah. my family, my friends are going to react. And sure enough, when like the jump scare came in, I seen all of them jump and their popcorn and flying <laughs> everywhere. So funny. But yeah, the jump scares are pretty, pretty cool. Oh, definitely for sure. <laughs> yeah, my 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 food went flying in the air too. But <laughs> what did what did you like most about playing playing Robin? When I read the script for Robin, I was really excited because I've always wanted to play a character who's tough and has a fighting scene, right? So when I was reading his script, I was like, oh, this is sick. I, I can't wait to audition for this. Mm. And that's that's something I really like about Robin is the character that he is, is, is he's a, like I said, he's a tough, a tough kid, kind of like a rebel, you know, but then he's also kind and has a good side to him. Exactly. So that's what I really like about Robin is that I got to, when I was uh, filming some scenes, I had some action scenes and then I also had those really heartwarming and wholesome scenes with Finn. So that's, that's something I really liked about my character. It wasn't just nothing but toughness. It was well, yeah. that's to experience a little bit more than, than that. Nice. And <laughs> um, like the one scene that, that was, was, was great. Like I, I love the scene where, Finn is in is in the the room the ba- the bathroom and he's getting get getting bullied by the kids and then your character walks in <laughs> and they they like jump so far back and then yeah. you, you and then your character kind of bullies them and says okay leave now <laughs> <laughs> right yeah that that scene was so fun to make because when I'm walking I kick the door open and I'm walking in the restroom. <laughs> and they just kind of like freeze and look at me. So the camera is, is pointing at me and you can only see their backs, all the mm-hmm. three Masons uh, uh, back. So the camera, you can only see my face. And it was kind of funny because we did a couple of takes, but none of them were because we were laughing, but I tried really hard not to laugh. I kick the door open and I walk in and I'm looking at, at Finn and he has a little smirk on his face. So then I look away at the other bully. And then he also has a smirk on his face. So I was like, oh, man, I'm going to start laughing. <laughs> I tried really hard to, to stay in character for that because I needed to show that toughness. Well, oh, yeah. But it was lots of fun filming that scene. I love that scene so much. It was great. Nice. And it's crazy that the three bullies, Spencer, Jordan, and, and uh, Brady, who play the three bullies, they're so nice. They play yeah. those bullies really well but they're super kind really nice kids <laughs> uh, that, yeah like i actually interviewed on um, jordan and Bra- brady so so like i interviewed two of the three bull- bullies on the show on in the movie yeah, <laughs> yeah they're really ki- nice kids they're yeah. I, I had a lot of them on set off set it was just great nice and um like where did you learn how to fight like that? Like the the this, <laughs> the scene where you're fighting and the the blood on the knuckles. Like did 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 you have to learn how to fight like that, or is that something you already knew how to do? So that's also kind of funny because so I did boxing before. Oh, so I I did a little bit of boxing before, but then I remember they told me like, all right. So when we were rehearsing the day before we filmed the fighting scene, I had to throw a kick. I'm not really sure where the kick came from. I've never done any martial arts with the kick. I've never thrown a kick before. So I was like, okay, I'm not sure if I can get my leg up that high. I don't really know how to do this. So I just remember practicing like a lot when I got back to the hotel, just throwing a bunch of kicks and, and funny story about the, the, we were when we were rehearsing that scene the day before me and Gavin which is Moose which is the bully that I was fighting yeah I was rehearsing the scene with his stunt and well we're doing he throws the his stunt throws a hook I duck and this is the part where I kick 
and boom, I throw the kick and I kick the stunt on the face on accident. It was just, we had lots of fun rehearsing for that scene and filming it. But I mean, yeah, the the kick, I'm not sure where it came from. After after uh, production and after we were done, we wrapped, uh, came back to Arizona and I got into Muay Thai. Oh, nice. Yeah, I started doing a little bit of that. And I think that's where that came from, honestly, the, the, from, from Robin. <laughs> wow. Okay. Nice. <laughs> and was there any like one special funny or cool behind the scenes stories that happened while you were filming? Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many. Every scene we filmed has its own story. Um, behind the scenes when we were on set with all the other cast, there's just, it's just really like when we were all had, when we all had to be in the trailer and they were doing the spe- the, the makeup on us, making, a, making us look all dead and, <laughs> and stuff. We were there for hours and it was just really like a wholesome moment getting to know everybody. And we were all talking, getting along and, and it was great. But then offset when we were, done for the day we would hang out at the hotel and there's just so many things we did we would go to the beach we've we did a lot of things we would go out to eat so much and we would hang out at the lobby we play video games together there's so many memories i have with you guys and it's just great and maddie as well we did a lot of things with them and it's lots of fun oh nice nice and i see like on on your your um pages and stuff videos like you play music like you you play the guitar uh so how long have you been been doing that for yeah the guitar so i've had the guitar for like four years but i didn't play as much i didn't play it every day it was just like something i i did when i was bored yeah but just recently, I, I started taking a little bit more serious now, and I think I was, I'm starting to take guitar lessons. Oh, so, nice. yeah, but now it's I'm taking a little bit more serious. And before I didn't, it was just like something I wanted for fun. I just doing it just to do it just for fun. But now it's, it's definitely everything I've learned was self-taught. All the songs that I played. Wow, that's amazing. But, yeah, thank you. But now I, I, I want to take it more seriously. I think it's a really cool skill to have. So so then that means like I'll, I'll probably be seeing some of your songs coming up on streaming, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe if, if that's in me, I, I might. I'm not <laughs> sure. If I, if I have a voice to sing, I, I'm not really sure. I might start recording music and yeah, give that a shot too. Who knows? There you go. Okay. <laughs> and what kind of, of music do you like listening to? Like who's, who's on your playlist? Oh, I, I can listen to anything. Honestly, I, I really just admire music, but there's really nothing that I have a problem with listening to. It's like a, a art, you know, and I can listen to everything I have. I, I, that question is really difficult, difficult because you, it depends what decade you're talking about, what genre you're talking about. You know, you're right. I go for hours talking about music. I have like almost a bit of everything. Nice, nice. Okay, <laughs> no, no, you're absolutely right about that. Like, it, it, like you, you don't know. You could go from the '80s, the '90s, the 2000s, even as far yeah, back I, as the I, '60s I just, and '70s. Every decade, and I listen to a lot of older music from. I think the oldest song I have in one of my playlists is from like the forties. Oh, wow. Really? It's instrumental. I forgot what it was called, but it's just, I listen to a, a bit of everything, honestly. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Rap, uh, matter, everything. Okay. And do you have any hidden, hidden talents that, a hidden talent. Well, that's where I think guitar is going to come in. You know, okay. I've got a lot of compliments from guitar saying like, wow, you're actually pretty good for being self-taught. Maybe this is something exactly. you're just naturally good at. So exactly. I think 
probably one. That's why I'm taking it more seriously now and starting to take classes on that. But drawing, I love to draw. That's something I really haven't shared with my fans. I love to draw. I'm always drawing. And just more on the artistic side, music, art, it's just something I really like. Awesome. Like, are you into like playing sports and video games sports. too? Uh, video games. I have an Xbox, but I don't really play. I, I don't play that much, you know. But sports, um, Muay Thai. I got into Muay Thai now. I did yeah. that quite a bit. I'm gonna start going back now. Boxing. Boxing is definitely one of my favorite sports. Something I wear a lot. I did football for a couple of seasons, and I remember playing soccer when I was younger. But yeah, sports are great. I've I've played quite a bit a couple of sports. Wow, okay. And like do you watch do you watch any on television? Like what are ones you like watching on television? Uh, the ones I enjoy watching the most are boxing, basketball, football, and probably UFC. Oh, nice, <laughs> man. Nice. Yeah, those <laughs> are like the ones I can watch hours. I, I can watch them every day, all day. Okay, okay. And I always ask guests when I have them on the show, like, it, do you like horror films? And if you do, what are some horror films you like to watch? Horror films? I, I like them. I would, my favorite would probably be, if I'm going to watch a horror film with like a group of friends, it's going to, yeah. I'm going to want it to be something like actually scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't want to say that this is my favorite horror film, but if if I want to get scared, it's going to have to be like The Conjuring, those oh movies. God, yes. Like, yeah. I, I don't want to say those are my favorite because then I sound like what you're into that stuff. But like definitely if I, if I want to get scared and I want to scare my other friends and just watch a really scary film, it's going to have to be like, the horror film i mean uh the conjuring or like the ouija board or something like that those yeah. that get to yeah, me <laughs> definitely yeah those those movies are really are really good like they're really yeah. scary those are scary films so i think that if for horror films it's gonna have to be those okay nice and are you a fan of halloween season at all like do, do you do you ever do you go to any Halloween parties and dress up or Halloween? Yeah, Halloween is like one of my favorite holidays. It's Christmas oh, awesome. and then I Halloween. But I mean Halloween is great. I'm really excited for Halloween this year because I want to see I'm I I'm hoping that they have the black phone mask like at a at a spirit, you know, for Halloween. <laughs> like that would be so cool to see the the black phone mask at a Halloween store or something exactly. but yeah this halloween is definitely going to be cool because universal is going to do the halloween uh they do it every year mm -hmm. i forgot what it was called but the black oh, the, phone. The, the 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 horror nights um yeah 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 yeah, yeah. The, the horror nights and yeah uh the black phone is going to be a part of that this halloween so oh, this halloween is going to be cool i'm probably going to dress up as robin again or something i don't know <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you you are him, so like <laughs> you can you you can definitely dress up as as Robin going right. out for Halloween, or or if they saw the mash, you could be Ethan Hawke's character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how how was I I I forgot to ask that like how how was like working with both Mason and Ethan Hawke? Oh, uh, it was great. I. Sharing the screen with both of those uh, actors is really cool. Like having the opportunity to do that is just great. Like with Ethan Hawke, making a movie with Ethan Hawke was just such a pleasure and like honor, you know? And Mason, Mason's on fire right now. He Got is. Now he's just going. And all the other actors sharing the screen with them is just really cool. We were all, it's crazy how close we all got we all instantly clicked like from the moment we met. So I'm really happy that that cast and everybody 
I worked with were all really close and the whole production was great. Nice, nice. And um, do you do you follow any of the trends on on tick tick talk like like when you're on there doing your music like do you do you do you follow the trends too um honestly i really don't like a lot of the trends that are going on right now on tiktok i don't really do any of them i just kind of like post my own content you know just yeah. me playing guitar it's okay i kind of follow the trend but i do it in my own way so like okay. i on tiktok and on instagram i posted a video of me playing the song by Childish Gambino, you know, Me and Your yeah. Mama, that's what that song is called. And, um, well, that song is trending right now, really. It's really popular. So I just posted a video of me playing that song on the guitar. So in a way, I follow it, but just with my own twist to it, you know. But, okay. But, yeah. Nice. And lastly, like, where can fans find you at? Like, if they want to follow your your next moves. <laughs> <laughs> just um, on my social platforms are just Instagram and, and TikTok, honestly. IMDB, I'm, I'm on there too. And those are just, I'll always be on those. But okay. yeah, and it's crazy how much my Instagram has grown just from these last three weeks. I saw that, that yes. That's just insane. It's crazy. But yeah. Like like that that probably happened just like as soon as the black phone came out like your 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 likes and followers probably just start shooting up and shooting up, yeah. right? It, it, they really it went up a lot. I went into I made that Instagram account with 500 followers and after the movie came out it just grew so much so I'm, I'm really proud of that and just grateful for that you know oh definitely, all that yeah. and support from everybody is just means a lot to me sweet nice well thank you so much for for taking time out of your night and coming on the show it was it was really awesome talking to you you're really yeah. cool same it was it was a pleasure talking to you as well thank you so much for having me of course buddy of course so definitely have a great night and great great weekend you as well thank you so much for having me once again thank you thanks yeah